Every toad down in Toad Town liked Christmas a lot. But there was a dingy, dank Koopa who lived up in Darkland who did not. The Koopa hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. We all know the reason. <laughs> Why won't you love me, Pete? Why? Why won't you love me? <laughs> Somebody love me, please. <laughs> but Peach didn't love him. No, she loved Mario. Ah! Yelled the Koopa. That plumber must go. <clears throat> All this angry talk is making my tummy rumble. Whatever the reason, he moped in the snow, glaring on Christmas Eve, just hating Mario. Staring out from his castle with a sour Koopa frown, into Peach's window, which was just north of Toad Town. Mario's hanging her stockings, giving her massages. She's giddy and beaming. Mario's ruining my holiday. The Koopa gnarled, steaming, for tomorrow he knew all the toad girls and toad boys would wake bright and early as Mario gave them all toys. They'd play with their dolls and their wiggler boops and bombazzles, their Goomba playsets and thwimp thwomp hang goggles. Ripping through gift as if searching for gold, but their Yoshi collector's items are a sight to behold. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Why don't I have the blue one? I can't take this anymore. I must find a way to get the blue Yoshi collectible. I, I mean, uh, you capture Peach. <laughs> there has to be a way for me to take away Mario's Christmas. But how? Dad. What? Junior, what did I tell you about interrupting me when I'm plotting? But Dad, I'm hungry. Junior, there's food in the fridge. Just go get some. But I ate it already. Uh, okay, well then just go order pizza or something. I, I don't know. I'm plotting. I, okay, you can just get out of here. Ugh, forget it. I'm just going to steal some from Larry. Where are the others, you ask? The Koopaling's glory? <laughs> Never you mind, they're not in this story. The more the Koopa thought about the pizzeria, boom! He got it. An awful idea. I know just what to do to crush that Mario leash. I'll steal Christmas from him, and then I'll steal Peach! <laughs> Bowser is overweight, so he couldn't put on a Santa suit. But he dressed up his henchmen, and they sure looked cute. And he chuckled and coughed. Ha! <laughs> you guys look so stupid! Stupid or not, Mario would pay. So he hooked them all up to his Koopa Clown sleigh. Okay, this is on limited warranty, so I don't want a single scratch! Not one! Ugh, I don't get paid enough for this. Onward! Go man, I'm Goomter! I'm Goomily, I'm Goomter! The clown sleigh was off and landed with a bound when he came to the first little house in the town. He glanced in the window and saw the main room. To get through the chimney, he'd need a mini shroom. Man, I can never seem to find these things when I need them. Let's see, we got a, a self-portrait, uh, we got a Mario voodoo doll that doesn't work, uh, then that girl wig from a dark time in my life. What was this thing? Ah, here it is! He climbed to the roof, mushroom in hand, and came through the chimney with a rather soft land. He stole the toad's presents. He stole the Toad's wreath. He stole the Toad's family album. Man, that's just an ugly picture. He stole the Toad's tree. The Koopa looked around. The house was cleaned out and done. 
He hopped in his sleigh to move from house one. He did this all night. The sly Koopa was quick. He emptied the houses to the last candlestick. You're a sly one. Yes, Mouser. You trek an awful while. Just to come and steal the princess and you do it with a smile. Yes, King Mouser. You're a mean old Koopa. And what you do is vile. You're a monster. Yes, Bowser. You're just a scaly, scheming troll. Your clown car's full of robots. You're as awkward as a bull. Yes, King Bowser. If you needed to come in, I would lock you out in the cold. The fiend's sleigh was full. The heist was no hassle. But he had one more stop on his list. Princess Peach's castle. You're mine now, Peach. In through the chimney, he came crawling once more. He entered the chambers, creeped through the door. The Koopa laughed to himself. He started to brag. Then he scooped up Peach and put her in a bag. <laughs> I've done it! I've stolen Christmas from Mario! <laughs> I'm so bad! I'm so bad! But then the Koopa heard something, like the whining of a cat on the road. He turned around fast and he saw a young toad. The Koopa was caught by the kid just after. He was stirred awake by his sordid laughter. He stared at the Koopa and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our princess? Why? Did you think the old Koopa was so smart and so cunning? Well, you thought wrong because he just took off running. It was quarter past dawn when the Koopa got home. He unpacked all the things and sat on his throne. This is fantastic! I have the presents, the food, the princess. Uh, well, okay, she's still tied up in the back and she'll probably hit me if I go anywhere near her, but still, I have her and I win. I win, Mario! I win! Finally, after all these years! The Koopa smiled long. But as he was reminiscing, he thought to himself, Hmm, something's missing. He rose from his chair and peeped out at Toad Town. And you know what he heard? Not one single sound. No screaming, no whining, no cries of dismay. Did I mark the calendar wrong? I thought it was Christmas Day. No one's sad, no one's gloomy, no one's angry or upset. I just robbed the whole village. I even took someone's pet. I stole the decor, the presents, five chicken breasts. I took the candles, the mushrooms, even the princess. The Koopa thought this was odd. He was taken aback. Did he do something wrong? Should he have called an attack? He opened a present. It was a brand new kite. And that's when he thought. This isn't right. He jumped on his sleigh and grouped up his crew. He headed into town with Princess Peach too. He began to descend quite gently, real slow. However, he landed atop of Mario. He gave back the presents, the chicken and toys. He made the toads cheer, the girls and the boys. Peach was set free. She smiled at him. The new welcome feeling made his scaly mouth grin. This is all I've ever wanted, not like anything before. But acceptance isn't something you can just buy from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Toad Town, they say that the now kind Koopa lives there to this day. And what became of Mario? Did they become friends? That's a tale for another day. Because this one's at its end. <laughs>